everybody this is caroline green from biotechnica so today i have come up with very important video that will be really really helpful for uh, research students as well as students who wants to have a patent in india every process i'm going to talk in detail so come along with me and let's talk about the complete topic in detail So now let's get into the video and understand what is all about. So first, let me uh, talk about the patent and what are the properties. So we already know if you have found something novelistic like drugs or any sort of mechanism or I'll be talking in detail of the process or products or what are the products that you can patent it. If you have done, then you can have a rights to avail it. That is going to be the patent. Everybody knows about it. And in this uh, process I'll be talking about how you can obtain a patent in India. I'm not talking about the international scenarios and let's talk about the complete topic. The first is uh, the website. So this is Intellectual Property Rights India. So if you go there IP India, then you can look what are the protocols that we have to register for to apply for everything. And I would suggest all of you to read this PDF thoroughly, which is given. So based on that, the complete uh, presentation is also made. So please do check it out uh, to this website or to this link that I've given you for you. This is a PDF version, so which will be really a great help for all of you. So now the question comes for us is why do I have to go in for patent? Yes, as a researcher, everybody knows about the importance of getting a patent and it avoids duplication. The same work will not be done again. So it avoids duplication and it's an important source of scientific literatures and technical literatures. Yes, of course, it's very, very important uh, for a scientific literature or a technical literature. And it's actually a treasure house. It's like a treasure house of the scientific inventions that you have made. You put everything over there. It's like a treasure for all of you. And it pays for further discoveries. As if somebody has a patent, some process or some products, uh, based on that, there are many people who will be carrying out the new discoveries also. And it stops reinventing the wheel. Yes, you don't have to do the same one because it's already been done by the same person and identifies emerging technologies and emerging areas also. So this is the most important things about patents. Now let's talk about what does a patent do because of having a patent, what are the things that can happen? The main important thing is we already know about intellectual property rights. So it protects intellectual property right for 20 years. Suppose if for an example, let me talk about a drug that you have discovered. So what you can do is you can patent that for 20 years. And after 20 years, what will happen is the technology goes to the public domain. It will be given into the market, which means you have a duration of about 20 years. If anybody wanted to use uh, the same uh, protocols or the same kind of products, they have to approach you. Then only they haven't go for the next other things also. So 20 years, it protects your intellectual property. And after 20 years, it goes directly to the public domain. So this is about the patent. And what are the things that you can patent it? So patentable subject matter in this video, I'm not going to talk about what are the products that you should not patent. I'm talking about what are the things you can go in for patent ships. So I'm going to give you a list which is from uh, the IP India only. So any article or even an apparatus or machinery or its component, whatever you want to go in for patent, if you have discovered it, then definitely you can go for it or any substance like whether living or non-living or product of it are pharmaceutical products like drugs, whatever it is, definitely you can go for it or you can see any composition of matter or pharmaceutical product, then you can definitely go for this. Here they have talking about even the substances or the structures, whatever it is, you can go for it and any process as I already told you any process of manufacturing or uh, the art of manufacturing or the manner of manufacturing other than essential biological process not the biological process apart from that uh, you can definitely go in for patent also you can patent these things so this invention should be very very related to these things which means it should be a process or it should be a product or it can be a process also it can be a product also and it should be very very new 
which which means it shouldn't be available even in india or anywhere else they should have never done it and involve in a inventive steps which should pave a way for the further discoveries also and it should be an industrial application oriented things like suppose if you are manufacturing drugs it's definitely going to help you in manufacturing further also any other product also and this section i would like to highlight because you can go and check in this website which will talks about this one you don't have to go in for that much detail because a patent agent can do all those pro protocols for you so this is about the patentable subject matter next one is e filing yes so i'm going to talk about e filing and who can uh, directly apply for the patent also e filings are always available in ip india online dot government dot in so if you go for this you just have to log in or register i'm going to tell you whether you can apply it directly or the patent agent applies for you i'm going to talk about that also in detail if you're going to go in for this site you can literally see a page like this and you will be registering and then you can start application process of patent application e filing electronic mode you can go in for so is it who can go and apply for this one i'm going to talk about that also in detail the next one how can i file if i have a very novelistic product how can i go in for patent application and file it so that's what i'm going to talk here so first two important things i'm going to tell you one is physical filing at the patent office you can go to the patent office i'm going to list out the patent office available in india you can directly go there approach a patent analyst and then you can ask them to pay uh, or ask them to file your patents very specifically so we have in previous video talked about uh, who can become a patent analyst or patent agent which means they are the one who actually draft your patent so which means they apply through the e filing procedures they would be applying your uh, patents all those things or if you are someone who knows how to do all this patent things or patent drafting everything then you can apply by online mode also you can also do that so you can see there are two ways of applying one is you are physically filing at the patent office you're going to the patent office you're telling that you have the resources and you want to patent it and there you will be um doing all the protocols in the office through the officials you'll be doing like patent agents will be doing it for you and the next one is electronic filing you can also do it at home it started from july 20 2007 electronic mode of application has started so you can either directly go and you can approach the people who are there or the patent agent who are there or you can directly apply by online also there are two ways if you know electronic mode of application very nicely and if you know to draft everything then it is fair enough to take up or else directly going is a very good opportunity the next important thing is where to file the patent application now we know yes i have to do a patent i have to go either of the two methods whether i can apply directly or you you can go directly um, to the office and you can ask them to apply also so where to apply i'm going to tell you you can go to the head office of the patent office i'll be telling where it is or else you can go to branch offices also i'm going to list out all the offices for you and territorial limits there has to be this area only you can go and apply for that i'm going to talk that also so you have to be a resident of applicant or domicile in that locality or where you have invented those things like suppose if you are located in bangalore but you have um, done a research work in new delhi so even in new delhi you can file your patent so the place where the invention actually originated you can actually go in for or where you are you can go in for or if you are a business oriented company or a pharma company if you want to patent your drug then where exactly the location of the company or the organization there also you can go in for this this has a territorial limits i'm going to show you all the list of it so patent office branch in chennai is located so this is the territorial jurisdictions like andhra pradesh karnataka kerala tamil nadu union territories of pondicherry lakshadweep everybody can go in and register for chennai branch and patent office branch in mumbai if you are from maharashtra gujarat madhya pradesh goa chatisgarh and daman and daiu and dadra and nagar haveli all of you can go and register in mumbai this is very restricted only these people can go and do it and if you are from new delhi then uh, there is a patent office in new delhi and haryana hp uh, jammu and kashmir uh, punjab rajasthan and uh, ut of chandigarh everybody can go and register here if you are not belonging to any of these locality if you are from rest part of the india then you can go and apply to kolkata which is the head office actually 
so this is the most important thing so you have to know which location you can apply for there are four locations very specifically uh, the patent office are located the head office is at um, kolkata actually okay so now we know where we have to go in and apply for what are the territories can apply for each of these offices i told you now the next question come for us is documents can be filed in the patent office only what can happen is suppose if you're going to the office and applying they will be filling up your forms and you can visit this website or you can also go in for post which is a previous scenario people used to do it nowadays we went and start going in for e-filing process only or it can be done through hand but nowadays we stop doing it and we directly go to the office and apply through online we or we are still started applying it online also so this can be possible but it's fair enough that you go through the patent agent the next one general procedure procedure for obtaining a patent what are the procedures that it happens first what you'll do is you'll file your patent a uh, patent application you'll be applying it or uh, through the patent agent you'll be applying and they'll be drafting it and giving it and after that it will be published not published in the sense not the entire thing it will be published after 18 months uh, after that there would be two important things which will be done pre grant oppositions so people will be talking about objections and rejections right so they there also will be objection and representation by any people which means it's going to be a debate kind of thing and then you will be requesting for the examination which means the controller of examination that is patent examiners will be analyzing whether your work can be given a patent or not and after examination they can either grant you the patent or can they can refuse the patent also and after that this complete patent will be published so publication of the grant of patent will be done after this protocols only even after publication of the patent there is a situation post grant opposition can also arise no this is not possible to be patented and finally the controller or the patent examiner will decide whether this can become a final patent or not this is the general positions of obtaining a patent in india you are going to apply it and after that it will be published after seeing all all the draft patent drafting claims everything returned by the patent agent because usually a patent agent will have take the client who want to apply for patent and they will be drafting claiming everything and then they will be submitting it and after submission it will be evaluated by the patent examiner and there would be opposition after uh, everything is fine it will be published again there would be an opposition and finally the decision will be taken by the patent examiner so the 10th part is the part of a patent techno legal document so there are some forms that you have you will be filling up and certain information i'm going to talk about all this form these forms form 13 18 9 and 26 will be about the legal informations and form 2 is about your technical things like what product you have discovered or what are the process that you have done form 1 you'll be talking about your name address contact detail investors information assignee information everything will be there in form 3 there will be assignments detail of foreign filing if so and form 18 you'll be having request for examination because uh, as i already told you the controller of examination or the patent examiner only will analyze your uh, process or product whether it can be patented or not and form 9 is for request for early publications usually when you think uh, about the previous scenario that the duration of uh, publication of the patent was a bit very very longer and nowadays it has become uh, 48 months so you can have your pay, um, patents within 48 months also so now let's talk about form 26 so in forms 26 it is about the power of authority who is having this authority if assigned to a patent agent so you have you have assigned a patent agent or not some people can apply it directly e filing online mode they can apply it or if you have assigned a patent agent whose role plays a very important role because drafting claiming if they know it it's very easy to get enough if you have given any kind of authority to somebody else then you have to fill those form informations in form number 26 and the form 2 very specifically talks about your interest or the your in invention speci specially and here in this you will be talking about the background of the invention what's the background of information you will be describing why you 
uh, why we want this information, what's the need, what's the purpose of this information that's going to be the background of the information and the next we'll be talking about the summary of the information. So everything will be put in form number two. In form number you'll have all these things given over there. So here you'll be describing how the invention is going to work. And someone should be able to duplicate your work. This is the most important criteria. If you want it to be patented because so nobody should be copying it. So someone should be able to duplicate your work. So you are wishing to do so. And prefer, uh, preferred embodiments, you have to talk about it. And finally, you have to give some examples also about the summary of the invention. And finally, this claims... This claims will usually been returned or done by uh, the patent agent only. Most important part and independent claims, dependent claims. When I was talking about the patent agent, I was talking about the different types of claims. So this will be done by the patent agent. And finally, you will be writing your abstract of the research work that you have done, which will come under form number two. So this is about you're getting a patent in India for your research work. So we talked about why a patent is important. What is a patent does for you and patentable subjects I talked about, but I was not talking about the no, uh, there are some products or some uh, things that you cannot be patented that will be coming up with a new video also and how you can go in for e-filing process and how you can file the patent. As I already told you, you can go either by a physical uh, filing method to the patent office and you can file or you can hire a patent agent and you ask them to process that or even you can do the electronic filing by yourself. And the next is where to patent it I was talking about. You can patent it in more head office or you can go to these branches and what are the territories comes under each of these branches can go and apply. I talked about it and then we were talking about how you can apply for this one. What are the documents that you would be requiring where to go and apply everything and the general procedure or the protocol of the release of patent I was talking about publication will be done 18 months but the final release will be there for 48 months and what are the forms that you have to fill up and what does each of these form contains I've been talking about the complete topic in detail so this is all about how to obtain a patent in India for your research work. I believe that this video is helpful for all of you. If you have any questions regarding this one, please do put your questions or any sort of things that you would like to tell to Biotechnica at any point of time. Please put it in the comment section. So if you really like this video, please like, share and subscribe to our channel Biotechnica. Thank you all of you for joining.